Welcome back to some Tracy Boards commentary, where today we have a very special treat for you. Jeremy Hello. had the opportunity to sit down with none other than yes, Razor sir. Ray Beerling. Neither of these two gentlemen have had the opportunity to play much competitive Crokinole for a while, so we're going to see if they have some ring rust to knock off, or if they're able to pick up with business as usual. Well, so far, it looks like they're off to a great start. Razor Ray, there's with two straight 20s. See if Jeremy's able to even. Nope, he is the first to miss, going a little bit long. Ray getting hungry, going after that follow through 20. Just a little too much power. Jeremy gets the takeout, keeps it inside the house. I think that may be a little closer to the center than Ray was hoping to leave it. Jeremy went after it, but hit it with a little too much power, lipping right back out. So now Ray has two on. Jeremy makes short work of that with a double takeout, driving one all the way through the house. But still, Ray with a 120 advantage. Jeremy, there's no question here. He's going, he has to set up some sort of an opportunity to drop a 20, or uh, Ray's gonna have him in this very first round. Jeremy's commenting here, pointing out to Ray that he's not really, <laughs> not really leaving him any great opportunities for a 20, and Ray is saying, yeah, that's, that's, that's the plan, Jeremy. That's how I play. So uh, one last shot here. Jeremy with the hammer shot. He needs the off and a 20. Oh! oh! Which he gets. <laughs> True to childish form. Jeremy doing a little gloating to the camera, pointing out that he just made a, uh, some would say lucky, some would say fortunate, some would say amazing shot in order to even out that, uh, that first match. So... Uh, Ray gives him a little bit of applause, appreciating that uh, shot. and I would say Jeremy was a little too focused on the pass shot that he made there, to, that he, uh, he messed up the opening 20. So here we are. There's no 20, so at this point it's fair to say that Ray has the advantage in this round because, oh, because he had hammer. But Jeremy was able to pull off another pretty, uh, pretty sharp shot there. Two pegs and a 20 to... Uh, Give him the 120 advantage. Let's see what Ray's able to do. That uh, oh, that green hard. button tucked right up against the peg. He does the bounce back. Didn't even barely move that green button. Jeremy finds a lane. Shoots up the middle. Ray says, that was so nice. I think I'll do it twice. Drains another bounce back, 20. I want to see you keep making those. Jeremy's asked him for a third. Can he do it a third time? No. Third time he misses. This point, Jeremy is up 320s to two and has two buttons on, although not a great place to leave that because now Ray has an opportunity for a double takeout, which he gets. He was probably hoping to come back into the 20 hole, but at least it's still on his side of the board. So he's not, this round isn't over because Jeremy's got a tough shot. Taking his time, looking around, always wow. a good idea to look at all your options and not just, uh, not just pick the first line you see and shoot, but look and see where is my best chance for success here? Shoots all the way through the house. Able to keep his on. So Ray, in order to even this round, he needs to do an angle in 20, which is an awfully tough shot. Catches a peg on the way in. That puts Jeremy up three points to one in this opening round. So we got two rounds on this particular uh, in this particular video. Both of them are four round matches. The typical typical NCA style of play, a four round match, could be eight nothing, six two, five three, four four. However, it ends doesn't really matter. Um, what Jeremy and Ray did after this, after a couple of these matches, was their final match of the day was a race to nine. We'll soon get commentary up on that. Now the, the players are just taking a little second here to talk about what you just saw. Jeremy did a rollout when he wanted to get play away from the middle. He rolled out into the outside of the board, which is, it's, you know, it doesn't get a lot of recognition because it's not a highlight reel shot. And then Ray made a fantastic shot from out there to bring it back into the house. So although those shots may not look like much, they, they can make a huge difference in a, in a round of competitive crokinole. <laughs> Ray going for the angle off of the green button and trying to trying to drain one. It was just his was a little too much in the way. Oh wow! <laughs> Jeremy oh, goes for the wow. double takeout, but he takes out two green instead of two red. Enough. 
opening the door for Ray to slam another open 20 in there, completely changing the momentum of this round. And like Ray was just pointing out it was that that what, him being able to roll back into the center was how they man he managed to set up the situation to for that big momentum swing in the round. So now Jeremy's set up here. I believe he's probably going to go for an angle in 20. That was another fantastic shot, getting both of those buttons. Getting the second button off was a bit of a bonus there. Back and forth battle, which ends in another tied round. So each player gets one point in that round. Giving Jeremy the lead at four points to two, headed into the final round of this four-round match. Jeremy starts with an open 20, putting some positive pressure on Mr. Beerling. Up for the task, he draws even. Jeremy comes up short. Ray not able to capitalize on that hanger, what we would call a very heavy hanger. It's almost, almost a follow through 20 because you do need to get a lot of forward momentum dead straight in order to get a 20 out of that setup. Now, I don't know if that was uh, planning there that Jeremy had his big fat head in the way so you could not see that disastrous shot he just made. A very kind gesture, giving his friend Ray a 20, which Ray doesn't really need help like that, but a bit of recovery, rolling that green button back into the house to at least set up an opportunity to draw even in the 20 count. Not up for the task. Here we go. Oh, Ray taking advantage of that. Nice off and a 20. Jeremy forced to go for the follow through 20 at that point. A tough shot, setting Ray up for one more 20. Fully in command here, four 20s to one. Ever greedy, going after that fifth one. Didn't quite get it, but definitely wins that round with authority, bringing the, the match to a 4-4 tie. And uh, the players are going to just immediately move right into their next match. So the score goes back to 0-0. They start the next match. Jeremy's going to start this one off. Open 20 to start. Ray with a little bit of a backflip there with his disc. <laughs> Even in the 20 count, players are making jokes about trying to distract each other with uh, knocking buttons off the side of the table, which obviously they don't do that intentionally, just, uh, just some fun banter between friends who are duking it out on the board. Oh, Ray is the first to miss going long. Now puts Jeremy in control of this round. So Jeremy's going to try to keep it away from the 20 and not allow not allow Ray any opportunity to to even up the even up the 20 count. And obviously they're a bit of a chess match at this point. Ray wants to work it toward the middle. Jeremy wants to work it away from the middle. So there, Jeremy was able to keep it, pull it back a little bit. Each time, now he's going to try to pull it back a little bit further, leaving Ray with absolutely no opportunity. Forces him to peel. Otherwise, you know, Ray had no chance to win this round. So now Ray is hoping for Jeremy to leave him a, a hang or some sort of a setup, which he does not do. And that uh, sealed, sealed the round. It ended 520s to 4 in Jeremy's favor. So he's up 2 nothing in this first match. Ray is to start round two of this match. Starts with an open 20. Again, he's throwing buttons on the floor. That distraction worked as Jeremy misses on his 20, open 20 opportunity, uh, leaving it a little bit short, at least not a setup. So here we have Ray in control, slightly in control this round, right from the get go. So now Jeremy's getting a little aggressive going after that follow through 20. The weight was good, but a little bit off. Now he's going to try to work it back into the middle because, yeah, he needs he needs to get back in the middle and create some opportunities. Instead, going forward a little too aggressively, catches that peg, finds a shooter in the gutter, opening up the door for Ray. Ray does not capitalize, leaves Jeremy a hanger 20, which he takes advantage of. And Ray goes long. Jeremy's going to want to keep control on his side of the board. Ah, it caught the peg a little bit and kicked forward. Now setting Ray up. It's like these guys are just exchanging gifts to one another. 
Jeremy goes a little bit long. Now Ray keeping control, keeping the keeping the play to his side. It's going to force Jeremy to. Okay, it's going to say he had to go for a peg, but instead he's just trying to slowly work that back toward. Now Ray's going to want to make sure he doesn't leave Jeremy any kind of an opportunity for an angle off twenty. Carried through really nicely. Now, if you look at this board, Jeremy has no option but to go for a long, strong follow through 20. He got great carry there, even into that peg, and had a second chance of it coming back, but just didn't quite drain it. Bringing this match to even Stevens at two points each. Jeremy to start round three, drains that open 20. I'm going to have to talk to these players and tell them to slow it down a little bit because it makes the commentary tough when they're uh, when they're just uh, placing and blasting so quickly. But I think they're just so eager to play and that they're uh, firing away. And both players taking turns utilizing that red disc for a bank in. Uh, Jeremy used it because you need to to have a valid shot. Ray used it in an attempt to move his away from the center and not uh, not leave Jeremy any opportunity to angle in there. Jeremy not once but twice decided to test the durability of that peg and it, it was up for the task, kicking his button into the gutter. There you go. He got his revenge, finally getting that button out of there. Ray kind of making him pay for those mistakes. This point, Jeremy's officially out of it. So at this point, he may just go for a touch twenty, just for just for practice sake. A little bit off on the angle. The weight was good, but now Ray's gonna probably try to drive one more. Yeah, inconsequential, as Nathan Walsh from Crokinole Center would say, inconsequential at that point. Now it puts Ray up four to two. Let's see if these gentlemen can uh, see if Jeremy can fight back and have another draw in this match. But Ray starts out with an open twenty. Jeremy is the first to miss on this one now and uh, comes up a little bit short. Fortunately, not setting Ray up, not well anyway. And uh, yeah, Ray probably trying to get away from that center hole there, but left it a little close. See what Jeremy's able to do. Gets the 20, but he didn't get the off. Ray draining the 20, putting more pressure on Jeremy, forcing him to try to go for the angle in 20 here. Looks like the angle is good, but come up a little bit light as far as the weight goes. So yeah, he's still fighting from behind. Ray up 3-2 to two in the 20s. Let's see if he gets aggressive here. He did. Got aggressive going after that follow through 20, but still come up short. Probably setting Ray up for a drop back. Ray not able to capitalize on that. Just a little bit strong. Jeremy going for the follow through. Little, little bit off on the angle. Drifts all the way out to the five. Now Ray is playing a little bit of trickery here, leaving the green on because Jeremy wants to force play back to the middle. That forced him to try to peel, try to and, and successfully attempt to peel everything off there. Ray follows that up with the 20, making that uh, make us that last shot. Didn't even matter. He wins this match six to two. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Very shortly, we are going to do the commentary on the race to nine, the final match that these two uh, these two NCA competitors combatants went at it with. So stay tuned and hope you enjoyed this match. Make it a great day.